Hi guys, Mike Jensen here. Today we're gonna tie a black and purple marabou jig. The popularity of these black marabou jigs was started by some Canadian tournament fishermen. And um, today uh, these are used worldwide. Um, fabulous lures for trout fishing and for small smallmouth bass and uh, a lot of other fish. Most of all these super mobile fibers, marabou fibers, is great for for, for lures when you want to fish slow um, like you do in the winter time when fish are hogging the bottom and doesn't move much to catch a fly or a lure. Um, anyway, enough talking, let's get on with the tying. <laughs> First, I attach the tying thread. On these jig heads, there's relatively little space to work on. Not a problem though, on this jig. Tie in the marabou feather. And wrap it around the shank. When wrapping these marabou feathers, you get a jig with a lot more life uh, than tying in a bunch of uh, fibers. When I finish off the marabou feather, I leave the tip in there to get as much out of the feather as possible. Then I prepare a slapping feather. Make sure to pull back all the fibers for every turn. And a whip finish. Then I add some UV glue or UV lacquer. And I press the fibers back into this position because before I cure the lacquer. That's to ensure that the jig will have a larger profile in the water.
Okay, guys, the black and purple marabou jig. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.